Hello and welcome to Gold Medal Martial Arts. I'm Master John Vasquez, a fifth degree black belt with the World Taekwondo Federation. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about speed, quickness, and agility. Things that you can do to add some uh, speed and quickness to your kicking, either attacking or counterattacking. So if this is your first time visiting our channel, we wanna welcome you, thank you for coming, we'd love to see you back. Uh, so please consider subscribing and kicking that bell notification that'll let you know when we drop another video to the tube. So the drill that we're gonna work on today is called a box jump. And there's all different types of levels of box jumps, and there's all different kinds of boxes and devices that you can use for a box jump. Like I said, get creative. It's also a good fun way to help you in your training. Uh, you can use steps, sofa, cushions. You can create your own box. You can actually make a box you know, out of wood, plywood, that kind of stuff there. Uh, I'm using the Century uh, plyometric box here. Uh, there's pros and cons about this, and I'll talk about that as well as, um, as we get into the drill. But the goal of the drill here is starting out very low. This is the six inch box here. Then you could move up to the 12 inch and then possibly the 18 inch, which is gonna be more of your intermediate and advanced. And I have to apologize today. I did bring the wrong microphone, so I don't have the actual uh, correct microphone. I'd rather have my wireless one on today, but um, fortunately I have to have a cord on me. So bear with me with that here. But here's a drill of how you're gonna work it. A single leg jump, and this is why we have a small box here, so that you can put all your effort into one leg in the event you're still not that strong with uh, a single leg movement yet. So, you start in front of the box here, facing towards it, right in the center, pick one leg up. You're gonna jump off of the leg you're standing on. In my case, it's gonna be the right leg. And I wanna land more to the center of the box and land kind of soft and controlled. I wanna try not to make too much noise when I land. And then jump straight back off. So I hold that position just for a second and then I jump straight off. This is the first phase of learning the box jump so that you can learn to control the body. Control your footwork, the movement, and the jump. Soften the landing with bending the knee. So watch me here, five jumps. Up. 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 One more. Up. And back. Now I would repeat that with the other leg and do another set. Now if I'm doing this in, a, in real development, I would do actually a set of 10 of those jumps. Both legs, three sets of 10 on each leg. That's where you're gonna get the development of that. So again, we did five jumps there and the next level would be, uh, you would actually do your 10 jumps with that. Both legs, you take a break in between the sets. Anywhere between 20 to 30 seconds, Really, I mean, you kind of base it in the beginning how long you really need to rest. That's important. Resting in between the sets is very important because you want to give yourself enough rest so that you can perform your um, jump to the best of your ability each time. If you're too tired to do it, you're going to slack on the technique. Posture balance is going to be off. You might lose your balance. You might put the other foot down, whatever uh, the case happens to be. So you want to be able to perform at your peak performance from beginning to end all the way through. So that's why breaking in between the sets is important. You wouldn't necessarily break in between switching from right leg to the left leg. You would roll right into that one. Since you were only using one leg, the other leg shouldn't be tired for you. So I would do my next set like this here. and back down. Again, very soft and controlled. It. So that's the first phase of the box jump. Okay, now working in the second phase of the box jump, and this box is a little bit uh, tricky to do this drill on because you want something that's a little bit more firm and harder so that you can um, move faster and quicker. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. The next phase would be to do the same thing, a single leg jump 10 times, but you wanna do it quicker. You're not gonna land so much center of the box and then off on the ground and work on balance. This is the next phase after that. We've already got our control and balance um, developed. So now we're gonna work on the speed of the drill. So I'm gonna show you the box jump. Again, it works better if you have a harder box, but remember, use anything that you can. Use whatever you have available. I know that's what I did when I was growing up and I'm sure a lot of other martial artists out there did the same thing. So here's the next jump here. Hup, hup, hup. 
So that would be the quicker jump. Again, because of the, the design of these sentry boxes, which are very good and very durable, but they squish a little bit when you land. And again, you want to do sets of 10, both legs, minimum of three sets. You can do maybe up to four or five. It's not necessarily um, the amount of jumps that you do, it's the quality in which you do them. That's why plyometrics are anywhere between sets of 10 to 12, maybe even 15 exercises and that's it. The quality of what you're performing in and how you're doing it is gonna give you more benefit than quantity. And that's always been the rule, quality over quantity. So that's phase two of the box jump.